Hi, everybody. And then there was light. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm just I'm just kidding. All right, so we're doing a little bit of change of pace today. Uh, instead of doing working on the plane, uh, we're going to work on the hangar, right? So I'm in my temporary hangar till uh, January. Well, I say temporary. It's going to be temporary no matter what, because either my friend comes back with his plane and I have to get out, or I get a hangar because I'm way up on the waiting list and I, it, it could come any day. It, it, at some point between now and January, I will have a hangar, so I'm not even worried about that. But I'm in this hangar now and I have no place to work. Uh, and all the benches that I had built, workbenches, uh, in the other hangar, I had uh, either sold to the club or given to the club. So I thought, you know what? What's a nice change of pace from flying? I'm um, from flying, from building, building benches. So that's what we're doing in this video. Uh, anyone that has seen this before, it's a very simple process. I've based my workbenches off of the EAA standard workbench plans that they uh, have on the web. The difference between mine is, so instead of doing 5 feet, um, I just use the full 8 feet uh, of 2x4s to make the whole thing 8 feet long. Really helps. It's the exact same uh, plans except for that. Well, that's not true. There's three things that are different. One, the length, eight feet. Two, I put a third pair of legs in the middle because, because eight feet's a pretty big bench and they have a tendency to sag. Um, oh, no, I'm sorry, four differences. Three, I lower the shelf on the side because I put casters on the bottom and that always raises everything up. So I wind up cutting the legs a little bit short so the legs are, you know, differently sized so that they're perfect. And the fourth is instead of a plywood top, uh, I just happened to be at uh, my local hardware store and found, oh, look, they have 8 by 4 sheets of melamine for sale. So instead of boring old veneer plywood, we're going to have a nice melamine top. So, And it's a simple process. And for anyone that's building that, you know, that is starting the process, this is a great sort of side project. One, you need workbenches, right? You need storage. Two you know it's a nice building exercise so make the top first eight foot rails 21 inch side pieces and then we make the legs only I'm making them a little bit shorter uh, the, the the whole idea is that even with the casters I'm trying to make a 32 or two uh, 32 to 33 inch tall work space which is really cool. And I want everyone to thank me because this was... No, please don't thank me. Uh, these were actually two videos uh, split into, you know, two days. And I thought, you know, no one wants to watch two days of me building benches. Oh, wife's here. So I just put both videos together and I sped them up twice. So you're actually seeing this at 40 times speed, which is really cool. All right, so... Um, Yeah, there's not really much commentary to do with it with the, with table building. Let's see what else can I talk about. No, I really can't think of anything. I uh, I had a rant planned, but I mean, I've only been around the same eight people for the last three months. The only people I have to rant against, let's see, um, to the microphallist men. I can only assume they're men that like to drive their Corvettes uh, across my island uh, at twice the speed of sound at 7 in the morning. Go f*** yourself. I don't understand what that's about. Uh, and it's right down my street. It's bad enough that the street sweepers come in about 4.40 a.m. on a Monday morning. Well, at least they used to. They don't anymore. But now we've got these guys. Look, take your plastic shitty little car and shove it up. Okay, okay. Maybe that's a little bit harsh. Um, you know, I could ask the police to take care of this, but of course, their budget's been cut. <laughs> oh, gee, I, I, I live in a country full of geniuses. We all do. We just, we can't... I can't even talk about it. Okay, here we go. The melamine. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with 
a nice piece of plywood, you know, especially if it's got a nice veneer on it. But I thought, you know what, this this just looks a little bit cleaner. So I decided to go with the melamine. And it's nice, but it's too nice. And I've screwed up because when you've got a plywood top, it's like, you know what, I don't mind drilling holes. I don't mind accidentally sawing through it or getting, you know, burning it with a soldering iron or whatever. Because I can always just unscrew it, get another, you know, two foot piece of plywood, two by eight piece of plywood. And then screw it back on, and I have a whole new top. But with the melamine, it's like, oh, now I don't want to screw it up to myself. Stop making things so nice. All right, so there we go. That is, well, once I fit the bottom on, this is one of the benches, and uh, it's all good. So have a good Wednesday, everyone. Talk to you later. See you soon.